Hello guys, Grunt is here. I wanted to discuss a few things. Um, this isn't your usual and typical recording. Um, this recording is going to be further more detailed of um, what has have has happened over the last couple days for me. Um, I wanted to discuss this to let you guys know and to let others know that you just got to be careful for what you're doing but usually I don't think this is a justified um, thing that happened to me so let's get right into recording it um, so pretty much there's a site called twitch.tv and it's a streaming bro oh a streaming site that like a horizon of people stream and record and like there's some some famous streamers that have used it such as like ninja Ka kaisana like speed etc um so pretty much over the last couple days or last week or two i had this underlying passion that I've always had when I was really young as a kid that like, ooh, I want to stream. I, I want to actually do something. Like, I really want to stream. I always had a set goal of doing something such as streaming and like content creating like over the last couple of um years ever since i was like 13 12 maybe even 11 maybe even younger i always wanted to become a streamer like that was like a goal that i said because i remember looking at myself when i was 13 saying hey i want to go and stream when i'm adult i want to go stream like when i'm like older like i can do like w my job and stream like that was a thing that like i always wanted to do in, in reality, I put it to this side because I didn't really trust it. And for one, I don't think I was as motivated as I am now. Because I've been more focused on doing certain things now. But anyways, yeah. Um, pretty much I had that underlying passion. But with the help of some of my friends... They brought me to push and motivate myself to start in affiliate Twitch. I don't think I would have ever done it, but I had support with a couple of my friends and some family that said, you know what, you got this. Go and, go and do what you love. So I did. I started Twitch um, affiliation. I streamed Friday and Thursday. And Saturday. Friday and Saturday were my affiliate days. Well, not, not for Saturday, but like... Yeah, pretty much Friday. But anyways, um... <clears throat> getting off track a little. Streams were good for the most part. Um, ups and downs with streams, you know. Casual, like, first affiliation. I was very comfortable. I was starting to see myself grow slowly on Twitch and I started making emotes trying to be funny did some couple of um interesting things like me and Randy had like funny funny moments Randy referring to my friend sorry about that man my friend but anyways so a last minute call happened where pretty much my family was like, hey, let's go down the shore. And I said to my friend, hey, I'm going down the shore. I know we won't be able to like play Pirate on the One together. So, which is the game that I've been playing when I stream. So I was like, hey, I don't know what to do. And he said, why not? Just go and um, do a uh, vlog, do an online real IRL stream. I was like, that's not a bad idea since my it's the start of my um, Twitch career. 
So one day went by, sat, which was referring to Saturday. I didn't do anything Saturday. I, it was the first day down the shore. So then Sunday it, and I said to myself, and I said to my friend when I woke up at like 10 a.m., I was like, no, I'm going to be streaming. And I'm going to try and do this vlog, do this stream. The stream that I decided to do was a basketball stream. So it was, it was a very hearty and very chill vlog. It was just me um, st streaming basketball. Um, so I, I went to the courts, I was on call with my friend, we, we had a couple of funny moments because we didn't know how the audio worked until you realize, um, with mobile, you have to leave the Discord call in order for Twitch to work. So then we finally set it up, like, five, five takes later, and it was the start of my, uh, vlog. So, um, pretty much, I, um, I, I was just chilling, I was just hooping around and stuff for, like, a couple minutes, and then, like, a couple guys came, like, a couple of, like, younger, younger children, or just, I should say, like, just people came like minors like a couple minors came because it's a public property it's like a public basketball court and they asked me hey is it all right if i can hoop here and i was like sure man is it all right if i stream and they said sure and they were interested in looking at my twitch like they went over and saw the views and stuff um because they were so interested, because, you know, like, kids, kids, kids are interested in seeing things, like, kids are, like, pe like, not peculiar, but, like, you know what I mean, like, they, they're interested in seeing, like, certain things, like, not, like, how adults, like, see things anymore, like, they're juniverts, like, they're, they're kids they're they're gonna have fun and they're gonna go and see new things like that's probably a start, something that they have never seen before and we just played a pickup game we were playing 3v3 as we were just enjoying ourselves just playing it was very funny for the most part my friends were dying they were they were enjoying that whole stream is probably as some said it was the best 20 minutes of their uh their day so um further the story they leave like 20 minutes later and everything was going well until a unexpected turn twitch banned me how i mean twitch banned me they literally banned me they they gave me a whole ass Suspe indefinitely suspension of due to the fact that we are indefinitely suspending your account because using Twitch while under the age of 13 is not allowed. The hilarious part that I get from that is I'm not even 13. Before I knew... I got this email and because te technically I was a little nervous and I was a little confused and having this personality and like a start of something new, I became a little apprehensive and when I went to the appeal before I knew why I got banned, I stupidly wrote I'm sorry for what I did, and it won't happen yet. It won't happen it again. Sorry, uh, pause right there. Uh, it won't happen again, and I was in the wrong, and etc. Which is not right. Like you should never go and think before you say and not look at directions 
Like, you always have to look at the directions. And unfortunately, the appeal became an indefinite suspension, and it became rejected. Fortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to appeal again. So, I may have lost my Twitch account. Um, currently, I sent an email to Twitch support saying what I really wanted to say. Um, pretty much, it was the truth. It was unjustified. Um, I know, stupidly, I wrote, went and decided to go write an appeal of just me apologizing because, you know, that's, that's like some 12-year-old thing that a person does, and stupidly, I decided to go and do that because I'm a very in, in, immature individual. Um, but, so, concluding, all things can come to an end. You gotta just know your surroundings at this point. I think maybe it was because the kids were younger, and maybe, possibly, some person joined the stream at the wrong time, and saw the kid viewing my chat, because, you know, children are peculiar, are interested and seeing, like, things they've never seen. And I was just enjoying myself. I was just, like, focusing on what the other kids were doing when we were hooping. And just pretty much, that's how I got banned. Um, it was a very frustrating uh, day yesterday, I should say. But at the same time, I had to laugh it off because... I was doing something that I love, which was streaming, and I gotta look at it as a positive, even though it's a really fucked up situation right now, and how I just fucked myself even more, but pretty much, um, I honestly think I will start streaming on YouTube, and start doing, make more content with my friends to just try and bring myself to get more focused and not worry about this too much because I was worrying about it all night. Like, I was just thinking about it in my bed. I was like, what am I going to say for this video? Like, how am I going to explain this? So I really wanted to just explain the gistes and what real the truth behind what really happened um and the even better part is i wasn't the only one who got banned i forgot to conclude this i wasn't the only one who got banned a bunch of my friends also got suspended and one got banned with no reason why so this isn't just a ban where, oh, it, oh, Grunt just got banned. Okay, he did something. Like, all of us got banned for some reason. And it wasn't the same reason. So, I honestly think it was an unjustified ban. Um, I really think, like, it was just because Chai went in the wrong time and decided, oh, I'm going to ban this guy. But you know, you can't you can't really worry about it because worrying about it is not gonna get you anywhere. So I've decided to start recording on Twit. I'm on YouTube, and I may start going live on YouTube. So I want you guys to check that out more instead of watching my um Twitch. I hope you guys like understand what happened and I hope you guys learn even though you don't stream and stuff but I hope you guys in the future if you ever stream you just need to know your surroundings and you need to like just focus even more on your stream and that everything will probably be better so I want to thank you guys for listening and just overall
thank you guys for supporting and peace out.